And uh, here we have the RX 62N development board. It's the uh, IDK RX 62N board from uh, Renesas. Uh, I just received this uh, yesterday as a uh, evaluation board because I entered the contest. And together with this, I got this big UC Micro C OS 3 book, which is a A N 800 uh, page book. So that's pretty nice. But uh, let's uh, unbox this thing and uh, see what's inside. When we start to open this, it's pretty difficult with one hand. We open it up and we see a nice board, uh, pretty good quality, and uh, the components looks fine. And uh, if we lift it up, we'll see that it has bumpers on top, on the bottom, sorry, and uh, beautiful silk screen layer. So a uh, very nice board indeed. And uh, if we take a look beneath it. We have a kind of startup quick start guide. How to deal with it and a CD ROM. And then we also have uh, some USB cables. A uh, mail to mail, it's a USB A to USB B, mini B. And we also have a uh, USB mini to uh, USB female and that's because of the host function inside the uh, RX62N so we can connect for example a uh, memory stick so uh, that's pretty much it now uh, let's see what the board uh, does at power up at uh, first power up you'll see some flashing over these like the motor spins and you'll see that the display is showing something Micrium and it says Ethernet link down retrying for 10 seconds so I'll try to uh, plug in an Ethernet cable and then see what happens oh then it says acquiring address network address and then it got an IP so uh, let's see what it says in the computer I've now installed the high performance embedded workshop and uh, opened the uh, Micrium example project files which comes with the board. Uh, so here to the left we can see five projects where the example 4 project is factory loaded to the board. So now let's try to load one of the other examples, like for example example 1. We do so by right clicking and press set as current project. Uh, that would take a moment and it would try to connect to our Renesis board. And if not selected, you have to go up here in default session and select JLink. After that is done, we have to compile the project by clicking on the build all. And that would take a few minutes. Now the build is done and it has programmed the Renesis board too but not every time it will it will not program the board every time but if the session is set to JLink it will when you compile it if not if it isn't programmed you can go to debug and press download modules and then press uh, select the uh, the project here we have XM1 then it will download the module and we can press go. Now on the Renesis board we see another kind of blinking and again the LCD is writing Ethernet link down. So let's try to connect the Ethernet link and see what happens. We got an IP and it blinks differently. So that's the example 1. Now let's try to load example 2. Now we have loaded example 2, connected to the Ethernet, and we'll see another kind of 
demonstration. Uh, this is the accelerometer, accelerometer demonstration. So if I tilt the board, you see that the accelerometer uh, position is acquired and shown on the LEDs. So that's example two. Let's try example three. Now I've downloaded the uh, example three, which is the uh, TCP IP example demonstration, and it has acquired a uh, an IP address. So uh, on the computer, I can uh, ping the board, for example, like going into uh, command con command line and. Uh, writing ping and then the address you'll see that it responds unfortunately I haven't been able to uh, to show the web page which should show up but uh, there is other examples too uh, this is using the Micrium TCP IP protocol uh, so and it's running on the uh, micro C operation system, but Renesis has provided some examples too, uh, where the bot isn't running the micro C OS. It's running a uh, yeah TCP IP demonstration on its own. But let's take a look at the last example, example five. Now I've loaded the uh, example five, which shows that it's the uh, HTTP demonstration. So it's got an IP address, so let's try to enter that into our browser. While we are entering that, we'll see a beautiful MicroC HTTPS homepage with uh, the temperature read by the sensor, the uh, I2C sensor. And we have uh, some toggle LED commands. Let's try to toggle LED 15. So by pressing on that, we can see that on the board, LED 15 has turned on. But again, then a weird thing happens, as the page isn't loaded properly. Uh, and I can't reload the page either. So that's, I don't know if it's a bug, and I haven't checked if it's a bug yet, but uh, as I said before, there are other demonstrations using the TCP IP protocol provided by Renesis. But last but not least, as I said, Renesis has provided some examples. You can reach those examples by going to File and clicking New Workspace. And in here, you have to select the YRDKRX62N. And then you write a pro workspace name and a project name. I'll type in Ethernet. and you'll press OK. Here you'll select Tutorial uh, sorry, Assemble Code and then you press Next and then you'll be given a list of different applications. So we'll select the Ethernet UIP and press Next. Then you'll be shown a list of the files which will be imported and you press finish and OK then the files will be imported the project will be opened and you will be able to compile the project and download it to your Renesis port by setting the session to JLink and then pressing the build all after the compile has finished we uh, go up to uh, debug and press connect to connect to the Renesis port. After we have connected to the Renesis port, we will uh, download the module, download the program to the board by going to download modules, all download modules. After we download the module, we have to reset CPU to be sure that uh, there isn't anything else running. So we reset the CPU and press go. So uh, now it's acquiring an IP, and it's got an IP, so uh, let's try to uh, enter this address in uh, our browser. Uh, sorry. 
in our browser we'll see a uh, Renesis homepage with a menu and uh, some different pages like file statistics and it will load some uh, statistics about the files, the internal files and how many times they've been uh, reached. Network statistics where we can see how many uh, IP packets it's received and how many it's sent and we have network connections we can see the connections going on inside the uh, Renesis processor and the ports it's trying to connect to where we have this established and we have the Renesis menu where it shows uh, a beautiful image which is stored internally in the uh, rx 62 n processor and then we have uh, finally the LED control where we can uh, control three LEDs so we'll try to turn them all, all on and we will see that they are turned on and I'll try to turn them off again and then it turns on off <laughs> so uh, that's uh, a simple UIP demonstration but uh, I think it works quite better than the uh, Micrium Micro C OS demonstration unfortunately but uh, I'll have a look on it but uh, for now it looks very promising for my project to use this Ethernet protocol so uh, thank you Renesas and uh, thank you all for uh, for watching. TKJ Production.